Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are doing another pick a card. So today's pick a card, I wanted to push myself again, really. And I kind of, um, you know, sat down with my spirit guides and I was like, okay, where can we take this even further? Like, how do we open people up to their soul and their soul's origins and, and who they really are on a soul level? You know what I mean? And I really love this idea you know who are you on a soul level because um that can mean so many different things and i'm i'm you know completely open as to what comes through in this reading um, i'm really excited to get into this because that can mean so many different things that can be revealed in this reading you know what i mean like past lives um starseed origins um and i'm excited to just see what really comes through um you know even just like your soul's personality whatever really comes through or your soul's mission i'm just gonna keep it very open and just see what spirit decide to show me which is exciting so um i have four piles for you guys to choose from the first pile which is this one um which is the labdorite um the second pile being the citrine the third pile being the amethyst cluster and the fourth pile being the aquamarine so do what you guys need to do to get in the zone the timestamps are going to be in the description box and i will see you guys at your timestamp Hey pal number one, welcome to your reading. So if you guys chose the Labdorite Crystal, then this is your reading. So we are going to be taking a look at who you are on a soul level. We're going to be dipping into those Akashic Records and seeing, you know, what you really are internally, who you really are internally, any karmic memories that come through, any past lives that come through, any starseed origins that come through. I will just let you guys know and we'll just see what happens okay so um spirit guides please can you tap me in to the collective of pile number one um i want to say straight away when i'm tapping into the collective of you there's this ruddy orange um aura that i'm picking up on i don't know whether you guys have very strong root chakras or very strong sacral chakras but there's just this gleaming red and orange color that i'm just seeing as i tap into you guys um so take that as it resonates pile number one um spirit guides please tap me into pile number one um who are they on a soul level um they're straight away again um i'm hearing taurus quite loudly and they're taking me to um greenery like grass and plants um they're telling me that you have a very strong and deep connection with nature um and Gaia herself um but they're more so taking me no they take I was gonna say they're more so taking me to the ground but then they show me the sea um they're really taking me as well to um like islands and places where there is a lot of greenery you know what I mean or where there's a lot of um sea <laughs> you know what I mean they're taking me to like Hawaii and um they're taking me to where am I being taken here. I don't know why somebody just said Mexico. I don't know why I just heard that. They're taking me to Mayan culture actually. I'm actually hearing some of you guys had lives. Um I'm I'm really being taken there. I'm, I'm hearing you had uh, lives um as Mayans I'm being told and I'm also being shown there's like a group of people in like a circle and it's like they're either working with the moon or like chanting to the moon like that's what I'm being shown I feel like you've been on earth many times and I feel like you've um especially in a lot of your past lives you've really um been in tune with either um Mother Gaia herself or the stars in the moon like you've always been in tune with that like I'm seeing people like I'm seeing like um astrologers and and um looking at you know like the what are they called um the pyramids of giza and um orion's belt aligns with that like i'm seeing some of you do that and and looking at the stars and really like um i'm hearing prophets like there's just a lot of um working with the moon and working with the stars and and really dissecting that i guess that would have been a lot different back in the day but that's how they're showing me you know what i mean a lot of you guys actually i'm hearing have a knack for astrology because you did it in your past lives um but a lot of you guys i'm hearing herbology and herbalists as well like there's just a love for plants and and mother gaia and preserving um gaia's creations and stuff that's what i'm actually being told here um and i'm hearing that you unwind and you ground yourself and you come back to yourself when you are in nature or whether you're like in the bathroom in the shower and the water cleanses you or you're sitting with your crystals or you're sitting with your plants or you're you know actually in nature and earth and putting your bare feet on the ground like that's when you connect more with your 
um your soul and i'm hearing that that's you at a core level but i'm hearing that um you guys in this particular lifetime you're quite mentally charged like you have a lot of like um you overthink sometimes or you just catch people's energies and there's a lot of air that i'm actually being taken to like they show me your soul i don't know whether in your draconic chart you have a lot of taurus a lot of capricorn um but they're showing me that your soul is naturally very grounded and very simplistic but i'm hearing in this life you're very um because you have a lot of um thoughts and you have a lot of creations i'm hearing you have a lot of air um in your chat in like your tropical chat or your sidereal chat so maybe a lot of gemini a lot of aquarius a lot of libra there's a lot of like i feel like your mind can race and i feel like what unwinds you is coming back to that simplistic um naturistic state that your soul genuinely vibrates on you know what i mean and i feel like sometimes you need to be reminded of that um because it's quite simple how you come back to yourself if you're ever in a rut um i'm hearing like all you've got to do is take a walk in nature and you're reminded but there's an energy here like turn your phone off because i'm hearing some of you guys are on your phone a lot but the thing is is that the reason that you chose labdurite and being told i haven't even pulled cards yet but this is what i'm being told um the reason that you chose labdurite is because labdurite um stops our auras kind of getting caught in other people's and um us taking on other people's energy and you don't just take on people's energy just by sitting next to them and feeling their emotions you take on people's energy when you're scrolling through instagram because you're continuously taking in information it's like your antennas are always up i'm actually hearing some of you guys to being told for some of you guys to start wearing head wraps um bandanas or hats um to protect your crown chakra because i'm hearing your crown chakras are very open you're taking in a lot of information and um i don't know whether some of you guys realize that and i'm hearing to kind of protect your crown um because that can help you if you're feeling very drained very quickly that's why your crown feels very open that's why you chose the lab right i'm being told so let's actually pull some cards now <laughs> spirit just let me just dip into all of that straight away so um spirit who are pile number one on um a soul level who are pile number one on a soul level so we have the ten of cups I just hear Andromedan, so you may resonate with um, Andromedan starseeds, and I also hear Draconian starseeds as well. Um, pile number one, pile number one. Who is pile number one on a soul um, level? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups. I'm hearing strong Aquarius energy, and I'm hearing like you have an absolute love for humanity, but it's in this way of, you know, sometimes like, you know, on Earth, a lot of people are very, um, they think with their ego, they can be quite critical and quite mean for no reason. And you don't like that. And I'm hearing like you guys prefer to isolate for that exact reason, because you don't like when people um, are just mean for no reason. You just don't understand it. But even though like you sometimes, I'm not just saying you have a dislike for people. I'm not going to take it there. But like sometimes you just choose to be on your own because you don't like sometimes the way people act. Um, sometimes people will act out of a lower vibration and you don't like it because you see things very pure. I'm being told but even though sometimes you don't like to be around people too much you have this love for humanity as at a whole there's this very aquarian energy and your soul just like wants to see everybody um you know in this queen of cups energy connecting to their emotions and feeling abundant in their emotions and i feel like that's why you actually came to earth to help people connect to their own inner self and liberate themselves from their pains and their wounds um and you want there's a there's a need here to remind people that we are all one um i'm, I'm hearing some of you guys may be vegetarian or vegan or trying to be vegetarian and vegan very strong love for animals and i feel like you're here they're telling me lemuria so you would have had a lifetime in lemuria some of you um but they're telling me that you want everybody to see each other as equals plants animals trees um you know what I mean, people, we're all equal and we're all brothers and sisters to each other. Um, they're playing me the Pocahontas on Colours of the Wind. Um, and they're just kind of like showing me you in that energy, like you see the life and you see the love and you see the purity and you see the, um, the importance of every living thing and you know that a living thing doesn't have to be somebody that's walking and talking a living thing can be a jellyfish in the sea a living a living thing can be a flower that's blooming in the spring like you just see that life and you want everybody to see the world and and be part of a collective and be on that same level and that's why you actually came to earth in this lifetime because you want to bring people back to that naturistic natural um vibe of we are all one and um i'm definitely fearing strong um lemurian um 
traits from you guys um i'm actually hearing some of you guys um i'm hearing this is more in the future you're gonna start doing energetic grids where you are i don't know whether you come from a very um low vibrational town or there's just not a lot of people that are connected to themselves i don't know whether you're around a lot of nature or not but there's this energy where i see somebody sitting there creating these energetic grids of light um when we tap into our light and we just kind of like shine that out there's a lot of light workers doing that and i see you guys doing that as time goes on um you have a very pure soul and i'm i was actually shown this image in another reading so if i've told you this before um this is probably why it's coming through again i'm being shown a white rabbit i don't know why it could mean like um you know you're going on an awakening now you're going down the rabbit hole but they're more showing me this white rabbit like um i don't know whether somebody has a pet white rabbit or something like that but i'm just being shown that and there's like a strong resonance so like um i'm hearing you vibrate on the same energy as animals um which is you know a very very pure uh very pure vibration so pile one who are they on a soul level you have had yeah that hasn't shocked me that the empress has come out because i just really do feel like that is you guys you know what i mean you're very connected to gaia you're very connected to the earth around you um and we have the tower card here what i'm actually being told is i'm hearing you guys have actually had quite a hard time of it in life like i'm hearing that you've had a lot of painful realizations throughout your life um you know you may have thought somebody was your friend it turned out they weren't somebody you know that you thought was your soulmate ended up being a karmic partner I'm being more taken to the structures of your upbringing, like your your family. Maybe you had everything as a child and then it got taken away. But I'm being told that a lot of your um, tower moments in this lifetime have taught you to come back to yourself and realize that, you know, the true... Um, the, more, the most fulfilling energy in life, which is just you being in gratitude and in love for yourself. You've had a lot, it feels like you've had a lot taken away from you. And I'm hearing that that was designed in this lifetime for you to um, really learn to surrender. You may have been somebody in the past that tried to hold on to everything that was falling away. Um, and that kept happening to you for you to learn that you cannot control anything in life and to surrender and just let everything be and not worry about who's going to leave your life, who's going to come out of your life, why you're going to go because you cannot control that all you control is your own energy and if you stay in alignment and you open your arms up and you stay grateful then everything is going to you know move um in that way because you are then in alignment and i feel like that is a big lesson that you've chose to learn in this lifetime i'm actually here in your childhood or your early teens might have been very tumultuous or quite catastrophic but it was teaching you inner peace wisdom and i'm hearing self-love self-confidence but it was teaching you to ignite your own power with um your own power and your own um light within yourself because no one was going to do that for you maybe a lot of people that you depended on in this lifetime fell away or did you dirty and it was so that you could become self-reliant and know that you could create whatever you wanted to create because you had that power and that was something that your soul wanted to learn in this lifetime because a lot of your lifetimes in the past you guys have been lifetimes where you were very um in nature you were in tribes you were working as leaders so it, i'm not saying that you had everything given to you in your other lives you worked your soul worked very hard in your other lives to learn everything that i'm hearing is seeping through the cracks now so the wisdom that you have now um you know i'm hearing shaman work astrology um you know herbology um psychology all of these traits that you have right now i'm hearing art i'm seeing somebody sketching you have mastered them in all of your other lives and you're now here to bring that into fruition but in a lot of your other lives you were leaders you were masters you were um you were guides you were shamans you were people that people came to for your wisdom and in this lifetime you're like okay well i've aced that so in this lifetime you know i'll have things like taken away from me so then i have to find that in myself and it's like i'll lose my light but then find my light um i'm hearing you guys are on a very much an inner journey of inner peace in this lifetime and that's what you're looking for in this lifetime and i'm hearing a lot of you guys in this lifetime may have had a lot of jobs that you thought you wanted but then when you finally had them you didn't really care for them because the reason that you wanted them was more so for ego purposes and then when you had them you were kind of bored because it wasn't like um it wasn't something that really fulfilled you and then i'm seeing you kind of diverted your track and did something that really lit your soul up that you'd 
put on the back burner before because you just felt like it wasn't logical to do that and then you just kind of like threw logic to the side and was like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna make a living off of it and then it worked because you entered this empress energy um that's what I'm being told and if you haven't reached that point yet I see you guys doing that um if you if you guys are in a job that isn't fulfilling I see you guys doing that if you're in a job that's very fulfilling then um you're already doing it is what I'm being told um so pile number one pile number one who are they on a soul level um so we have the lovers and we have the knight of pentacles okay so what I'm being told here is you guys have had very rocky relationships in this lifetime you guys have had very um short-lived relationships whirlwind romances you may have a lot of planets in the fifth house but what I'm being told here guys is you guys in astrology may have your venus at zero degrees you're starting something new in regards to love okay in this lifetime you're learning something new and the reason that I'm saying is you have a very strong divine counterpart that you have kind Kind of um come into a lot of your lifetimes on earth and i'm um, here and elsewhere too um together you kind of came down together when you were part of a tribe you came down together you you know you really um you helped lead people together or you you know you had different dynamics with each other maybe one time you were friends one time you were um you know a counterpart another time you were um teacher master but you always came down together and in this lifetime i'm being told because you always had somebody to kind of be there with you you and this particular soul decided that in this particular lifetime you both were going to go through a lot on your own as part of your inner journeys and once you had found this light within you and mastered something up conjured something up of your own um that was to do with what you had learned in your past lives some of you guys may have south node um pisces north node virgo or south node cancer north node capricorn i'm being told for those of you that um so what so when you guys are being told you know learned and mastered all of these traits in your past lives it was like right okay now it's time to bring that into i'm here in the western world you know what i mean as that started to build up it's like okay we need to really bring that out to help people in whatever way that you're helping because i feel like your natural counselors leaders teachers um mystics i'm being told witches i'm being told all of that um you were like okay well i'm gonna conjure this up on myself because that is me building myself up and finding that power within myself and once i have that and i feel abundant with that and my person feels that way we will then be vibrating at that same energy and we'll be able to share that and we'll be able to continue this run of helping heal and teach other people so you have a very strong divine counterpart in this lifetime i'm hearing some of you guys already know this you've had dreams about the mother is somebody that you sometimes think about that hasn't met you in the physical yet that is very true um but you needed to be self-sufficient and you needed to be in this empress energy before you met them um so you would have you know been on this very self-love journey because again i'm hearing your venus may be in zero degrees because i'm being told that you're used to having somebody be so pure and open with you so you naturally are very pure and open with your relationships but you know you've had people take advantage of you and i feel like that was part of you having that destruction and having things taken away from you so that you could really see your true potential and bloom on your own um that is why they were happening and then once that was over and you learned those lessons that your worth is not determined by other people or you know you learned discernment or whatnot once you learned that um that was another part and a piece of the puzzle a piece of the pie um so that you could meet this divine counterpart because i am hearing you have a soul tribe but there's a definite strong soulmate that I feel like you're going to have a lot of experiences with in this lifetime, I'm being told. So then we have the King of Pentacles. I want you to know that a lot of your lifetimes in the past were extremely abundant. Um, and when I say abundant, it doesn't have to be money-wise. Because um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys, again, very naturistic in the forest, like, not caring. Like, literally, like, I'm seeing some Adam and Eve type of stuff. Like, you know, completely naked in the forest, full of wisdom, in alignment. I'm seeing that, right? And I'm being told that whatever way abundance, you know, whatever it was that you were learning in whatever lifetime, you were abundant in it. And in this lifetime, you're learning to um not only um bring your gifts and bring your wisdom and what you've learned out because you're here to heal teach give counsel people but you are here to live abundantly and one thing that i'm being told in this lifetime you are going to be very successful you're turning this knight of pentacles this little idea that i'm hearing some of you guys have and some of you guys are already starting to integrate and you're turning it into the king of pentacles you're turning it into an empire that's what i'm being told in this lifetime you're supposed to be fruitful in this lifetime but i'm hearing you guys started with nothing 
and turned it into something. This lifetime is something about like rags to riches, feeling out of power to being fully in your power, but it's all coming from within and how you feel within and how you feel um, connected and all this releasing that you're doing is going to determine where you're at. But I'm being told for you in this lifetime, what's going to take you to the King of Pentacles is being in this Empress energy, feeling fruitful, feeling abundant um, and really sharing all the wisdom that you have. You know, that's what I'm being told. Um, so one more tarot card and then we move on to the Oracle cards. Pile number one. Who are they on a soul level? Um, yeah, we have the page of wands. What I'm also being told in this lifetime is you have, I'm just going to say the Hierophant at the back of the deck. You're here to lead like the Hierophant here, okay? You're here to um, share your wisdom and give your wisdom to people. You're here to be that. People are going to really be looking up to you in this lifetime. You have that energy. Um, your soul as well, it's very, um, how can I explain it? Very leader, leadership energy. You may have a lot of Leo in your, Leo or Capricorn in your um, draconic chart, but you very much, I'm hearing you're a master and you're a master of many talents and I feel like the minute that you establish something in this lifetime say now you're a master in tarot um the minute you establish that and you start giving tarot readings you're then learning astrology and then you're then learning psychology and then you're then learning um you know aromatherapy it's like you've got so many talents you're just integrating them all you know what I mean you're very multifaceted like that um is what I'm being told so what cards should we do next let's do these so I really do feel like Andromeda, Lyra and Starseeds and I feel like you've had lifetimes in Lemuria and they are seeing Atlantis as well. Um, so take it as it resonates if I've told you that before. Um, you just love nature but at the same time I feel like you have a knack for technology and if you don't have a knack for technology then you just, um, you're going to be well known through the internet in some sort of way like you're gonna have a big social media presence or something that you do is going to be done online that is going to garner in a lot of people um a lot of you guys may have jupiter in aquarius or jupiter in the 11th house i'm being told i'm also being shown jupiter in the eighth house as well um for some of you guys and i'm hearing jupiter in leo or jupiter in the fifth house they just show me that as well um and i'm being shown as well strong aries energy i don't know why um that just got shown as well um but i feel like what what helps you bring all of this um your gifts into abundance is when you start to um create order out of chaos and integrate your root chakra when i tapped into you guys you your souls you had a very um ready orange um tint to you and that is the color of the root chakra and the sacral chakra and i feel like when those two chakras are in alignment for you is when you feel your most abundant and when you feel the most connected and when you can just kind of create heaven on earth is what i'm being told so maybe some of you guys were a, mo a lot more um head in the clouds when you were younger but what brings all of this in is bringing your gifts and the spiritual lens or the artistic lens or the healing lens into the physical is what i'm being told um pile number one you have very leadership energy in your soul. I have to keep saying it. Like it's almost like you, you it's like you're a, you have this energy in your soul, like you're the leader of the pack. You have a lot of wisdom um that I'm hearing you're waking up to now. Um pile number one. Who are they on a soul level, spirit? Okay, yeah. So we have Scorpio, I transform. So this is literally the colour on the card as well that I could see when I was tapping into your aura. So um what I'm being shown here with Scorpio I transform is that again with this tower card um it's very much showing me that you have had a lot of moments that have absolutely broken you but when they broke you they lifted you back up it's like your soul I'm hearing your soul loves a challenge and I feel like you've had quite a challenge in life and it's because your soul likes that I'm being told your soul loves to um your soul has this kind of um cheeky kind of add to it where it's like i can do that you know what i mean i can do that give me anything i can do that it just feels like that i'm being told and i i just like it's just this energy where when you have hit rock bottom in your life or when you've hit the lowest of lows that in itself gives you this um this courage this need this drive to just shoot yourself back up and i'm hearing every time you've hit rock bottom every time things have fallen away from you and you felt like in the midst of despair it's given you this like um 
it's like you've tapped into your soul and there's just been this energy where you've just shot back up. They're showing me this phoenix just rising back up even stronger than ever. And it's like, you've done that a lot in your life. You've had people like not kick you to the curb only for you to come back kicking. I'm hearing the Caddy B song, get up 10. You know, they knocked me down, they knocked me down nine times, but I got up 10. Like that's you guys, you know? And it's because your soul is like, your soul just keeps going. There's no you're such a warrior is what i'm trying to say there's there's no laying down for you you're a warrior and you know what you came to do and we have water element at the back of the deck sensing like i said you guys are extremely um empathic you can tap into a lot of energies and um pick that up you can feel people's um emotions and i'm hearing you're very intuitive but just like the scorpio card it's like when we look at Scorpio energy, they're intuitive, extremely intuitive. They can pick up the emotions. But one thing that Scorpio have as well is not only can they um, intuitively and empathically pick up an emotion, they are analytical. So not only are they, um, you know, reading your energy, but they're also reading your body language and you because they're analytical. And you guys have that trait within you where you, you feel you have that empathetic side, but then you also have... Um, this very analytical side to you where you can really um analyze the ego sense of people the you know the fears of people but then you're also feeling the emotion of their soul too um very wise souls um i'm being shown somebody spirit guy that's working with them and they have like circle glasses and they have um like a long it looks like a long white beard it feels um that's how it looks now a card that just dropped out guys we have capacity to love so one thing that i want to say is what keeps you really um going and what really pushes you is you have this absolute love for um society and i feel like maybe people close to you may see you as quite cold or quite closed off but like i said i feel this aquarius energy where you sometimes don't like people's egos and the way people like to go about their life in the sense of picking pe up people and putting people down and things like that but um at your core you have this ultimate love for humanity and that's why you're here and you want people to be in touch with their heart and i feel like what drives you even with all this wisdom and you know i even though your soul feels like you're learning your own power um when we look when spirit show me power in the um let's just call it the spiritual lens it's so different than what you would look at power Power, like in the physical world when we think of power in the physical world we think of people that have a lot of money and have power over the minority but when we look at power in the spiritual world it's the capacity to love and it's the the bigger the heart that is the bigger power because when we are in alignment with our heart then we are in our own power and we all have the capacity to do that so this power that i'm telling you guys about it's not power in the sense of you do this for me you go do this for me it's power in the sense of i have a huge heart and i want to help change the world in this way and wake people up to their own power that's the power that you guys are ma have mastered and are helping other people do okay that's how they're showing me and they wanted me to kind of explain that to you guys and because of that big heart because of that um you finding the power within yourself you're able to fall into alignment and that's why you're able to bring this king of pentacles there but we have capacity to love because you're so empathetic you love you love you love you love love, like, you know what I mean? You love souls, you love the nature, you love Gaia, you love animals, you love people, you love plants. It, it, that's what it is. You, Your soul sees everybody as a part of itself because that's what we are. And your soul sees that and you see that too, I'm being told. Um, pile number one, who are they on a soul level? <laughs> Look at that, a rebirth is assured. One thing that I want to say about you guys, pal number one, is that you have gone on many ascensions. Like, um, when we look at the spiritual journey, it's not just like we're asleep and then we're awake. We go on many different um ups and downs ascensions and you're continuously rebirthing um that's what i said like you may have jupiter in the eighth house um you also may have um uranus in the eighth house saturn in the eighth house there's some eighth house placements here um that i'm being shown it's like you've lived multiple incarnations in one incarnation you've been many people you know what i mean in the back of the deck we have trust in divine detours which is tying in with when i said you guys may have had an idea of what your life was going to be like and then the universe shifted it and it all changed there was tower moments after tower moments that you could learn to surrender and you've had to learn that divine detours happen but that's just you know a part of the course because i feel like in your other lifetimes i'm being told you were very much like um um you led the way you were like okay in this life i'm going to um you know work as a shaman and help people 
and that was your you know you were still learning that so your life was quite simplistic and quite beautiful um i'm not saying that you didn't go through a lot because i'm actually seeing that and in, in a lot of your lifetimes um i'm being told something about egyptian times and something happening there that was quite hard for you guys and not too much taking me there because they're saying not to imprint on your own karmic memories and that you should reach them on your own but i'm i am being shown something about egypt and then i'm being shown somebody being imprisoned or something like that but then um connecting with their soul and connecting with spirit and then um i don't even know what this is it's like they're connecting with spirit while they're being in prison or being held hostage or something like that i'm being shown something like that let me know if that resonates for one or two of you and then i'm also being shown like um you know the silent witch trials and things like that and and um the witch trials and i'm being shown visions then i think you know what that means if you've had a lifetime i'm not going to get too into that but um i'm being shown that i'm being shown a lot of fire and things so um take that as that resonates and then i'm also being told some of you guys were actual royalty some of you guys were buddhist monks i'm being told buddhist monks like long 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 time ago so some of you guys have worked with Ganesha um, and you've worked with Ganesha in many lifetimes because they're showing me somebody, um, you know, praying to Ganesha and even in this lifetime doing it. And I'm being told that either you guys have an altar or in your room, it's like a byproduct of a lot of your lives. So maybe you guys have, you know, um, a lot of um, like Buddha statues or you have certain crystals that you've worked with or you have a lot of plants that, you know, remind you of a certain life or you have, you know, um, you work with, I'm being shown Anubis, um, you know, the Egyptian god Anubis. I'm being shown that and I'm, I'm being shown like different animals that you may have you know had a love for I'm being shown elephants um and dolphins and I'm being shown that your your space where you are or even like some of you guys have a journal or even just like your life and what you've been drawn to in your life is a byproduct of your soul's journey you know that's what I'm being told here um okay so another two cards we'll pull so pile number one Pile number one. I'm hearing you guys in the past have worked with Lemurian Quartz and Celestite. And if you don't have Lemurian Quartz and Celestite, I'm being told for you guys to get them too. You may have been being drawn to them. I'm being told somebody has had a dream or a vision of the Celestite crystal, which is like a light blue crystal. If anyone here has been having a dream of a light blue crystal, the crystal that it is, because I'm hearing somebody doesn't know the name of it, it's Celestite. And um, they're telling you to go and get that because it will work really well with you because you worked with it in a past life. And also Lemurian Quartz. Um, that's what I'm being told. And rubies. I don't know why I'm being shown actual rubies. Um, I don't know why I just got shown that. But that's what I'm being told. Some of you guys are going to develop a love for singing bowls as well because you love um, simplistic um you know like crystals singing bowls essential oils anything that's um more natural and i'm hearing somebody's developing a love for singing bowls um and doing meditations like that pile number one okay so we have unbound here releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives yeah you know i said you've had a lot that's gone on in your um lifetime and whatnot and you've really been you've lost yourself to find yourself it's a part of and i'm hearing that that they didn't focus on it too much in this reading because I'm hearing that somebody either another tarot reader or I have told you this before you're breaking a lot of generational curses in this lifetime the family that you chose in the lifetime that you chose in this lifetime was so that you could completely lose yourself to find yourself and find your power because in your lineage in your lineage of the family that you're in right now they had all lost their power at one point or um not be, not were able to they weren't able to touch in with their spiritual side of their heart and you're really learning that to stand up for yourself and find your power within yourself and say this isn't working i'm going down a different path so you're not just liberating um you know yourself in this lifetime of finding your light but you're teaching all of the people in your um lineage to do the same um i did a really strong reading on that that i actually it literally brought me to tears when i did it um i think it was the um oh it was the one that i did the other day what was it called um um your soul tribe soul tribe it was the soul tribe video um and one of those piles um i picked up on that so if i told you that in that video um that basically saying this is your pile <laughs> you know you've picked the right pile and we have priestess at the back of the deck how are you being called to step up and lead you're starting to realize and being told right now that you are a leader and that's what you're here to do you are high priest and high priestess is in the making um not even in the making you already are you're just learning that you are that in this lifetime um you know you're really here to lead the way in in one way or another and the final card that just literally dropped out you guys was gracious receptivity 
um and i'm gonna pop that there because you see how her hand is open um and we have like butterflies and everything around her too you know which is kind of showing me your growth the reason that the hands are open and it's really taking on that empress energy of you are learning to be grateful and to be open to what the universe has for you so that you can integrate that in this lifetime because i want you to know that if you feel like you don't have all that you need right now to become the best version of you know that you're breathing and that you have air in your lungs and that you have everything within you to master um a craft or to bring something into the physical in this lifetime because you have been mastering these tools um in many 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 lifetimes and you're here to really move mountains and bring um you know turn this little knight of pentacles here into the king of pentacles and they're saying that the sky is the limit don't hold yourself back and keep going because you're learning that you can be great in this lifetime you know what i mean it's a little bit harder in this lifetime because when you're an old soul when you're an old soul um you know it usually is a little bit harder i'm hearing some of you guys have master numbers in your numerology chat so you could be a life path a soul 33 22 11 um so your life has gone you know it has been a little bit harder than most but i'm being told that um you know you've had a lot of times a lifetimes in um nature or you know living out this more spiritual side of you and now that you're in this 3d world it's like wow this is really hard to integrate but you're learning to shine your light in this in this um western world in this 3d world so that you can um teach people to do it your way and get people out of the rat race um get people off the hamster wheel and start doing it for themselves too you're here to inspire and being told your soul came here to do just that because you want everybody to be liberated and see the queen of cups within themselves and the back of the deck we have the sound of the universe so i want to say you're very celestial um like i said strong andromedan lyran draconian um energies here you are such an old soul um, I'm hearing that you, I'm seeing like somebody sitting and just staring at the night sky and the stars and being in awe of that like you're very aware of that even when you were a child I'm hearing you like things about space or you like things that were otherworldly like mermaids and fairies and mythical things you got lost in that because that was more it resonated more for your soul than the mundane of what you know we're told to kind of live in this lifetime and that's why you were drawn to that and you were not here to fit in you were here to stand out because you have an idea that's going to have you strike gold um is what I'm being told so your soul is very much a leader and a master um that's what I'm being told and I'm hearing that this is one of your last lives it does feel like that like you I, I'm hearing you will have another lifetime after this one on earth but this is one of your last like lifetimes on earth where um it's like you're coming to the end you know what I mean like I'm seeing you'll have a handful of lives after this but it's more like it's more like your soul doesn't really need to but your soul likes to do it because your soul wants to see earth um kind of ascend i feel like your soul has watched the pleiades ascend i feel like your soul had um a help and a tie you may be drawn to pleiades because i'm hearing your soul had a tie and a help with um helping the pleiades reach 5d consciousness and become the star seeds that they are and i'm hearing that you just want to see the same for everyone else and that's why you're helping on earth too so it's kind of like this very well could be your last life but i'm hearing that your soul's like i'll probably come again like it feels like that because you just like to you like to see humanity realize in their true self that's why you're here like i said strong aquarius energy you love to do that um i'm also being told for some of you guys to cop some labdorite if you do not have labdorite because it will really help you remember that you're empaths and that you are always picking up on people's energy remember i'm hearing that what will help you is breath work um or maybe get some labdorite and being told labdorite is really going to help you somebody spirit guy just told me that um so that's what i have for you pal one i hope this resonated i really hope you enjoyed and you learned something i'm sending you guys all my love comment down below if it resonated and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so have a great day hey pal number two welcome to your reading so we are currently taking a look at who you are on a soul level so like i said in the intro we're going to keep this open and just see anything that comes through about your soul and the first thing that i'm being shown about your soul is i'm being shown a lot of water um so i don't know whether you guys are water signs or cancer pisces or scorpio maybe you have a lot of that um but i'm also being told you're very ruled by the moon um if you guys are not um you're not so much in tune as as to like you don't know when the moon phases are whether you know it or not they affect your um i'm actually being told for some of you 
like females watching they affect your menstrual cycle and i'm being told that um saying it was a full moon it's like you don't know why you're like crying your eyes out you're feeling all these emotions you're releasing and then you realize it's a full moon and you're like oh or like um you know you feel very ready um and geared up on like a particular day and then you realize like boom like new moon in virgo and you're like oh okay like you have that type of um energy where you're you're always connecting with the moon and there's just this energy like your physical body is very affected by the moon phases what um is happening astrologically um you're very affected by all of that i'm being told that's just something that came through um very strongly to be honest with you um so pile number two i'm also being told a lot of you guys had um lifetimes where you were in tribes um that's what i'm being told i'm being taken to um the Bantu religion and I'm being taken to um like hoodoo and I'm being taken to um like Nigeria I'm really being taken there you guys I'm also being taken to like Native American tribes um as well different Native American tribes and I'm also being shown like there's a there's a resonance with a wolf like I don't know whether you guys have like a spirit animal as a wolf or there's just something about a wolf being very like sacred to one or two of you I don't know but that just came through that they just came through quite strongly you've actually had a lot of lifetimes on earth some souls are old souls but they haven't had a lot of lifetimes on earth you've really been around the block like you i feel like you, they're showing me like a map and pins in it like you've been everywhere you've lived every type of life it feels it's like your soul has seen so many different uh, regenerations of this earth like you've seen a lot that's gone on here all the way back to like lemurian times i'm very much like convinced since doing these readings that a lot of light workers were around for lemuria like um when i first started tapping into it, i was like oh i think it's just me like I think I just had a lifetime there and then I started doing these readings for you guys and Lemuria just kept shooting up more than everything else and I'm just like maybe you guys are my brothers and sisters and we've all been there together to be honest with you you know because Lemuria just keeps showing up um quite strongly so pile number two pile number two um who are pile number two on a soul level who are pile number two on a soul level? I want to say that you actually have like a very white aura around you. Um, it's like a it's like a glistening white aura, and I'm hearing it's an aura of protection. So I don't know whether you guys do a lot of protection spells. I'm actually being shown selenite, clear quartz, Lemurian quartz, crystals like that. So I don't know whether you work with them or whether you're just like soul tribe help protect you because there's literally this white light around you. I don't know whether you do um shielding methods um and things like that to keep your aura safe but I, I I just feel like you're protected in some way um whether it's your soul doing it or whether you're doing it in the physical on purpose you just have a very um you're protected that's what I'm gonna say I'm being shown it's like a shield so we have the knight of cups um and the first thing that I want to say is you guys are complete givers your soul has such a pure heart your soul just wants to give and help and heal um that's really the emphasis of your heart and I'm hearing your heart is golden um your heart is golden like your soul in general is the type of energy that will literally give and help people you may have a lot of cancer in your draconic chart um in astrology like you just want to help and nurture and give um i'm actually being told either in your past lives or, or maybe something you want to do in this lifetime and it's been trickled in this is just for some of you guys remember this is general some of you guys fostered a lot of children or you were a teacher that looked after a lot of children i'm being shown um a native american lady and she's looking after children um that's what i'm being shown like you were you worked with kids in a past life i'm being told and you have a love for children and helping and nurturing and giving to people and not only just like with children but also people that really needed you the most like a florence nightingale of your time it feels like you really wanted to help nurture and give and heal people and that was in many different practices and traditions that you did that it's like you were a leader but not a leader in the sense of like a capricorn capricornian masculine way like a leader in a feminine way like you were the mother you were the nurturer whether you're a male or female watching this you were the nurturer is what i'm being told so pile number two pile number two um who are pile number two on a soul level who are pile number two two seconds guys it's just rolled 
under my table so we have the nine of swords yeah your soul is a true humanitarian and your soul wants to help the less fortunate and that's actually why you listen to this calling on earth and wanted to come to earth because your soul was like oh my god there's so much pain going on there at the moment there's so much negativity there there's so much corruption i they, they need a good heart they need healing they need comfort i want to um i want to integrate that and i feel like you in this lifetime may have gone through a lot of discomfort and hurt so that you could really heal and give to yourself so that you learned and understood what that meant so that you could give it to other people um but what i'm hearing is you're very much a blessing in people's life and i want you to know that and i'm being told that in this lifetime you may have had people that took advantage of you but they were just taking advantage of your kind nature they didn't know how to reciprocate your pure heart back so they either ran away or just attacked it because they didn't understand it but i want you to know that you are a blessing in people's lives and you are going to be a blessing in the people's lives that you touch you're be i'm being told you're one of those friends that just helps heal people like people may tell you you know i was feeling really low but then i jumped on the phone with you and now i feel better or you know I, I have this you know really bad thing and I, I don't know what to do with it or I'm gonna go turn to this friend to help me it's like you're you're the mother of your groups you're the nurturer of your family you're the nurturer of of your role in society you, that's what you're here to do is what I'm being told that's um that's just your soul in general you just want to give um I don't know why they just show me fairy godmother like I don't know why they just show me her from Cinderella I don't know whether they're saying like that's you they, yeah they're telling me like you came to earth like i'm gonna be the fairy godmother and i'm gonna i'm gonna spread my heart and and give love and i'm that i'm being shown the interview by diana um princess diana i absolutely adore that lady and she said in one of her interviews um I want, to, they asked her if she'd ever be queen and she said, no, I don't think I'll ever be queen, but I want to be, no, I want to be a queen of people's hearts. And she said, you know, somebody has got to go out there and, and love somebody. And I just, that they show me that scene and they're saying that that's your soul to its core. Um, you just want to um, give and help and, and make somebody's life better. And um, I'm hearing the Beyonce song, I was here and she sings, I brought someone from happiness. Like you, you you're here to light people up and I'm hearing you really are an earth angel here you're here to light people up um you're here to make people's time better and nurture them and make them realize that it's okay to be vulnerable being vulnerable is actually a strength because you carry your vulnerability in your heart like it's strength in a world where people see it as as negative you're like no we need to we need to come together we need to love we need to we need to comfort one another and you're here to do that and you want to bring that back you know um that's what you're here to do you know that's why you wanted to come here um you saw a lot of chaos and you were like I don't know whether you've watched my other pick a card but they show me this meme in my other pick a card you know that super nanny meme and she's like you guys are in a crisis I'm on my way <laughs> like that um little meme they're showing me that you were like right guys I'm in I gotta come down and spread my love you know someone's gotta do it so pile two who are they on a soul level who are they on a soul level we have page of swords I strongly just shared Pleiades um, I do, that doesn't shock me that they're saying Pleiades because one thing about Pleiades, whenever I tap into that energy, I feel um, this beautiful um, warmth in my heart space. There's such a love there. They have such big hearts, Pleiades do. And I really do feel like um, you very much, I, you've either had a lot of lives um, in the Pleiades or you really, your soul does originate there because um, that's really what I'm being shown. There's just this big heart. And with the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords, I'm really being told that um, your soul at a, at a core level, it's like, I don't know whether you have these characteristics in this lifetime, but they must shine through or they'll start to shine through. Your soul doesn't care to be on top and be the one in power and have all the money and be the, you know, look at me, I'm center of attention. Your soul doesn't care to be that. Your soul is here to um, stay in its own lane because this is what your soul wants. You want to stay in your own lane. You don't care to battle anyone. You just want to lead with love and give, you know, your heart out. You don't care to overthrow anything or be this, you know, disastrous, um, you know, war fiended person you just want to um you know sit in silence and have peace of mind and shine your heart and allow other people to do the same it's like you're here to teach people to drop their weapons because it's not worth it you know what i mean where people would want to be that page of swords and fight your soul is here like there's so much more power and so much more peace of mind when we drop those swords because what do we need to fight for i'm hearing the black eyed peace song um where is the love like you're here to teach people like 
fighting isn't worth it. We all need to be in love. You know, we all need to move forward in love. They show me the Janae I go some love. Um yeah it's just you want to live in harmony you want the world to be in harmony it's like i'm hearing that a lot of wars really distress you when you hear of wars or you know hate crimes and things like that it distresses you so much like your soul just doesn't like that it's funny because they're, they're showing me the citrine and normally the citrine is about confidence and power and you know money and it's like they're showing me your heart's like citrine your heart is abundant um that's where your abundance comes from your heart space um pile number two you guys come across as really sweet as well and it's funny because you come across as sweet people may underestimate you but you're so strong because you've been through so much and it's funny because the strongest people usually are the nicest um usually are the sweetest because they they live in a heart space they've had all of that pain to kind of remove that ego and bring them to their heart space and i'm hearing that's what you've done so you may have like a libra rising or a cancer rising or just have a lot of libra and cancer in your chart and people are like oh you know that person they seem so sweet but it's like also you're not to be messed with because you're you're hard you know what i mean you're hard you're strong um but you don't flex that because you don't need to you don't care to be shown as the fight uh the page of swords you'd rather put your sword down and, and you know just kind of integrate that and just just be love and be kind um we have the hanged man here as well um yeah, i'm hearing you guys as well your souls are master manifestors because in your past lives on earth that really specifically taken me to earth i'm hearing you love to come to earth is one I'm being told um but in your past lives on earth you were a shaman or you worked with energy in one type of way so there's this energy like you can almost see energy you can see movement you can see um people um it's like you can see emotion you know that's what i'm being shown and i feel like because of that you're able to because you're able to see energy you're able to send it whatever way you want to and manifest because energy is all around us it just needs a direction and when you tell it a direction um it can then work in your favor and i feel like your master manifestors and you're slowly waking up to what you can really do in this lifetime um because a lot of your lifetime you have more so being focused on others um but you are learning to not self-sacrifice too much you're learning to balance it out and give to yourself too um so that you can live abundantly maybe you you know you once thought oh you know materialism that's just not for the soul like let's just leave that be but you're learning that you know life is our playground and you can manifest and bring in whatever you want because whatever we want is already out there and we don't have to just live naturistic and, and give um in this lifetime we can be abundant too and have nice things for ourselves and you're learning that and i feel like when you start to integrate that you're going to start manifesting in a lot for you um because you're going to be very abundant and being told um pile number two um okay so we have the ten of cups let's pull one more um pile number two I keep hearing like um nannies or foster mothers or foster parents or um I don't know why I don't know whether you work with children or you just want a big family or you want to foster children or adopt or work um I'm seeing somebody go into a different country and helping um you know like um what are they called I've completely forgotten what they're called um orphanages and things like that i'm seeing some of you guys want to do that because you just want to nurture and give love to um you know anyone that you can see really and i'm also being told like um i'm being shown you know in some countries they really don't look after elephants very well and they um just let people ride them and it's just all kinds of messed up i'm seeing some of you guys like petitioning for that or actually going out and helping free them that's for somebody that's just this is a general read intake that is it resonates but i just saw somebody do that um you just want to nurture people um and then we have the three of swords at the back of the deck so you're here to heal the broken hearted and i feel like that started with you maybe you weren't nurtured you know in your childhood maybe you didn't have a great relationship with one of your parents and you had to learn to nurture yourself maybe you went through relationships where you looked for that nurturing in other people until you learned that that was in you um so you might have had some rocky relationships and i feel there's such a cancer energy coming from you guys like you want a family home you want stability you want to feel nurtured and you want to nurture and i see you guys um in this lifetime i see you guys having that big family that you want and being told but there's this energy here with the ace of pentacles like you want to give that to people too that's why i do really feel heavily like adoption or fostering um take it as it resonates it could just be again be like teaching children or something like that but i'm just seeing like um it could even be that you end up having a lot of cats or a lot of dogs it doesn't that's what spirit tells 
telling me it doesn't have to be children it could be animals you know what i mean it could be you take on mother gaia as your home and you want to protect it and and you know work for the environment and help the environment and you know it could be that but there's such a nurturing um energy coming from you and your soul um you just want to love strong pleiades energy coming here guys and i feel like it's been like that in other lifetimes you know even in the pleiades like you were like that you just wanted to nurture and love um you have such a pure heart like that um so pile number two um let's pull some oracle cards for you pile number two Pile number two you're learning as well you i'm hearing you've learned the empath lesson which is you can't heal everybody you can only heal yourself and hope that other people can you know listen to you and follow you and heal themselves too and you've learned that you can't keep filling up people's cups if they're not going to reciprocate it with the knight of cups and the nine of swords here you've given so much to broken birds and they gave nothing back and they were very like empath narcissist dynamics in your past and you they're very strongly telling me you've learned the empath lesson Lesson in this lifetime so you would have had karmic connections where people took from you and tried to steal your light until you learned that you um you were the one that held that light and you had to heal yourself and your own wounds with the three of swords um they're telling me you've learned that lesson um pile number two who are pile number two on a soul level they keep telling me Florence Nightingale. I don't know whether somebody was Florence Nightingale in a past life, but like they keep telling that to me, but it's in the sense of caring for people. You've always had people you've looked after and wanted to nurture. And quite ironically, the car that just dropped out was the moon. Um, and I said, you have a connection with the moon and um, you have a connection with the moon phases and astrology and things like that. Very nurturing, you know, very nurturing. It's like, even if you're a male in this lifetime, your soul is very divine divine feminine and very nurturing you're like the divine mother you know um pile number two pile number two pile number two i was shuffling the wrong cards pile number two um who are pile number two? oh my god my cards just dropped all over the floor two seconds guys um yeah they keep showing me the ocean though like the ocean i don't know whether you guys had like a love for like mermaids or um i'm being shown starfish actually um mermaids or starfish or um dolphins heavily dolphins i'm being told um you have a love for all of that oh let me grab these cards they just dropped into the table okay pile number two pile number two who are they on the soul level who is pile number two on a soul level okay this came up in pile number one well, we're gonna go with it we have capacity to love i mean i don't even think i need to give an explanation of that that's your heart i was saying that that is your heart and look at that we have harmony at the back of the deck you want everybody to be in harmony with each other is what i'm being told like you want the earth and everyone to love each other and be in harmony with each other that's just your soul um it's why you're here i'm being told you're here to do that um a lot of people really love being around you. They love your light. Um, they really love your light. They love your... You just have a healing presence. That's what I'm going to say. You have a healing presence. We have let spirit be your guide. So I do feel like a lot of you guys work with spirit. I'm being shown somebody that's heavily at the moment um being uh given like um angel numbers um really strongly they're saying at the moment you're getting them i'm also hearing that spirit use animals um to okay they're saying uh, um spirit use animals to guide you but they're also telling me that um at night you download a lot of celestial information so at night you may have like a really big expansion in one of your chakras i'm also being taken to the heart chakra um and i'm hearing like just as you're drifting off to sleep you guys pass them off as dreams like they're REM dreams but they're actually not they're actually visions that you're downloading they're, they're visions and karmic memories so you know that phase when you're just falling asleep some people don't even get that but i'm hearing a lot of you guys who watch this do and you get it more on a full moon again you're very affected by that more so by a full moon as you're drifting off into sleep and you see images and you see colors you see geometric shapes you see visions um really pay attention to them if you can because um that is just like celestial energy that you're tapping into and you're you're replaying kind of like karmic memories or you're having you know um 
energy downloaded you know what i mean we always get cosmic downloads that's your cosmic download you do it more so when you sleep but you you, you manage to capture capture it in that REM state more so when you go to sleep but sometimes as you're just waking up and um they're telling me to for you guys to have a little notepad by your bed so that when you go to sleep you can um or when you wake up and you remember it you can write it down or if you're just falling asleep and you remember it if you can maybe just like open it up quickly and write what you're seeing down because even the geometric shapes i'm being told some of you guys see that or even just shapes or colors they will mean something um so make sure that you're writing them down and if you don't understand what they mean um your spirit guides are saying to call on them and ask them to elaborate because they can um you guys also get very vivid vivid dreams on a full moon as well i'm being told um and i'm hearing you've always had that you're very in tune with the earth um because you're at that energy of gaia your heart resonates at the same frequency as gaia and and you know the earth and animals that's why you are able to be affected by it um i'm being told you know the, the turns of the earth and whatnot um I'm also being told that because you're very connected to the collective like that, um, when something very catastrophic happens in the world, like maybe there's a really, um, really bad tsunami or maybe there's, you know, um, maybe there's like a terror attack or something like that. It's like you may not know that it's happened, but like you'll wake up and you'll feel so sad or you'll feel this grief. And then later on, you're told that something happened and you're like, it's like it's as if it's not even new information to me like you already knew um that it had happened on a soul level but your mind's now catching up and understanding that it happened it's like something big happens like that and you already feel this energy of grief and i'm hearing 2020 especially was quite up and down for you because i feel like you were expanding on a soul level but you were picking up on the grief of the collective as to what was happening you know people losing their jobs and the fear of, of humanity at that time and you felt you know not even just that but everything that was happening um you know what i mean with um black lives matter and everything that happened then and what we saw and and what happened like you were in such grief about that because you felt it on a soul level and you weren't just feeling it as like you were seeing it you were feeling feeling um the earth weeping you were feeling humanity grieving that's what i'm being told so it's like they're telling me 2020 was a roller coaster because you were um becoming fruitful in an area i'm being told but then you were also feeling the the collective's dark night of the soul and it was it was an up and down process for you because you're so it's like you're you're it's this feeling of like mother earth like i i i, I can feel it i it's like you were weeping for humanity when everything was going on you know what i mean it really affected you um pile number two pile number two yeah, we have inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart. Your your heart is very much here to um comfort people at this time and help their transition into literally we have awakening at the back of the deck, helping their transition into spirituality and their dark nights of the soul and their fears and everything integrating, make it more comfortable for them. You're here to nurture them. That's why your soul came here. Um that's why we have energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration, because that's what's happening on earth right now when you're here to soothe that for people and and help nurture you know what i mean help find that comfort um and help love the people that need to be loved and and you know fight with the people that need to have their voice here you're here to do that um is what i'm being told so final card um pile number two that just jumped out <laughs> oh my god yeah okay so the final card it literally just dropped out we have earth i'm gonna make sure this focuses because you need to see this image <laughs> nurture nature i was saying you're a nurturer like mother earth and you see the earth here with this lady and her heart look at the look at her heart expanding look at her heart expanding over the earth I mean, if that isn't what I was literally being shown and trying to explain to you throughout the whole reading, I don't know what is. You're so in connection with the divine and nature and your heart is literally here to heal um, and give love so that you can help heal and help the earth. And I'm hearing the song by Tanache called Bet. Um, and I'm really hearing that strongly if you want to go listen to it. But the fact that it says nurture nature and I was saying you're like a mother nurturer and you just weep for Gaia like that in itself is just like yeah spirit wow <laughs> you know what i mean and then i don't know why but the sacral chakras come up twice we have sacral chakra here core of creation um i hope this is um 
the thing in. And then we have the Seiko Chakra here and the Ganesha card too. So I don't know whether you guys are doing work on your Seiko Chakra. I actually just shared Kundalini. I don't know whether you're opening your Shakti and going through a Kundalini awakening at the moment. But there's an energy here with both of the Seiko Chakras coming up here. Um, of you guys feeling very in alignment when you can embrace your um, sensuality and your sexuality and feel liberated as um, you know a sexual being and and dancing and, and feeling free and and being you know comfortable with your body and and being shown somebody dancing in their room and moving it in a very beautiful way like when you can be prosperous like that and and move about like that and express yourself like that you feel very in tune with yourself um is what i'm being told so that's what i hear there um so that's what i have for you guys pile number two i really hope that this resonated for you um i'm sending you guys lots of love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching um and yeah and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey pal number three, welcome to your reading. So we are currently looking at who you are on a soul level. So I'm going to keep this quite open and just see what comes through. On um, the past two readings, it's been focused more on like past lives, a little bit of starseed energies and just the personality of your soul and why it's come here on earth. So that's probably going to be the same kind of theme, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, so spirit guides, can you please tap me into the collective um, of pile number three? Um, straight away, they're showing me this very golden yellow um aura around all of you and they're also taking me to the crown chakra being extremely open um that's what i'm being told um i'm here when your crown chakra is open and a lot of messages come through so with that being said i feel like some of you guys are very aware um that you are psychic and have psychic gifts um and it's coming from your crown chakra your crown chakra is very open um so let's get into this again another thing that i'm being told is in your childhood you guys like to escape a lot because your soul is very very old and very very celestial and being shown lyran Acturian and Andromedan star seeds, and your souls naturally um feel more comfortable when you are de daydreaming, when you are in the higher realms, when you are getting lost in books or movies or music or art. And I feel like it's been quite hard for you as a soul in this physical world because when you came down, you had your higher chakras very open because you naturally work through them, and your root chakra and your sacral chakra and your solar plexus, but more so your root. It was very hard for you to ground into this reality because I keep hearing somebody say, I'm not from here. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Like there's just these energies coming over and over. Like there's this energy of homesick. Whenever I think of homesick, I think of Lyrans because Lyran, um, you know, the Lyran star seeds, they did lose their home. And there's always this energy within Lyran star seeds. Like they want to go home, but their home isn't there anymore. But also, as we know, a lot of strong star, star, uh, star seeds that resonate with this, they feel this energy like i'm an alien i'm not from here everyone does things things differently i want to go home i've been there myself guys and i feel like that's you you just feel like the odd one out on earth it feels um and i want you to know that you're not alone it's just because you were your soul is so used to being in such higher frequencies earth at the moment at the moment the collective we're in it's quite dense and i feel like you know it kind of hurts your it doesn't hurt your soul but it makes you long for home because your natural energy is such a vibrant like i said i saw yellow and gold there's such a light vibrant energy in your soul and then when you're around people that are you know in their low vibration low vibrations or acting out of their low vibrations it kind of upsets you because you just don't it's like you find it hard to mix with people like you guys i'm here and have a hard time um with small talk and things like that with people because it's like i just don't feel like i'm you know there's anyone here that's like me that's how it feels and i want you to know that you do have a very strong soul tribe um in this lifetime but i'm hearing that you had to go through a lot of lessons on your own to go through this inner development um as you created something i'm hearing a lot of you guys may have sat in the 11th house um and being told um there's something that you're creating that is very different to everybody around you right now where you grew up or who you're around um and i feel like you had to create it on your own and there's this energy of having to learn in this lifetime okay i don't really fit in with you so i'm just going to start my own wave and whoever joins joins and then it's like you're a magnet and people are joining your wave and and being like you maybe it's because you're into spirituality and people around you are or you know you're into something very different and you know 
you're at or you know drama or something like that and everybody around you wants to you know do something different or maybe you have a really big business idea but you have to go against the grain to do it there's that type of energy with you guys um you really are celestial and there's a lot of aquarius energy coming through or 11th house energy coming through and also pisces and 12th house as well um they're also showing me leo and fifth house um so pile number three who are they on a soul level who are they on a soul level? Pell number three. I'm hearing some of you guys are either life path ones, soul urge ones, or life path sevens. Soul urge sevens, or you have a master number, 11, 22, or 33, um, as your life path or soul urge, or maybe an expression number as well. Um, pile number three, pile number three. Who are they on a soul level? Can we dip into their Akashic records for a hot second? So we have the sun straight away um pal number three yeah it's like what i want to say is you guys and your soul like the way i'm being told is i'm hearing you guys come from like Arcturus, andromeda lyra and you're even when you were in those star systems like you even then were creating new ideas new ways of being new thought processes new patterns new things like that like you have such a like um you know like the mad scientist energy you have that as your soul like that's your soul you have such a it's like a leadership quality but it's like you you dream big in whatever lifetime you're in in whatever star system you're in you dream big you really do and um you you invent and i feel like you've invented even in like you know play i'm be, being taken to play 80s because i'm hearing you helped play 80s transition into 5d like you're doing on earth you helped them too you helped um people with new ideas you helped the souls around you with new ideas and thinking new and thinking into the stars and 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 thinking out of the box and it's like you've come here to do the same but the thing is about earth is it's very much in a box right now we are all on this hamster wheel following this very structured society and it's like your mind it's just like oh my god this is just it's almost painful in a way it's like why is everybody wearing the same clothes you know doing the same thing in the same you know it's this cog that's just going over and over and why like your energy is like why like i don't belong here like i do not belong here and it's, it's true you know what i mean but you came here because you wanted to you know live here and and help um you know the earth transition and ascend by using your ideas and your tools and your art some of you guys are music producers some of you are songwriters some of you are artists some of you are creating a business like um i keep forgetting the guy who invented amazon but you know who i'm talking about is it jeff bezos i don't know um that guy or who's the other guy um who's that guy and he's he just seems like an aquarius to me i don't know whether he's a good guy or not i haven't looked into him elon musk i don't know whether he's good or bad um i haven't tapped into his energy or anything so i don't know who you know what he's like as a person but he's always creating these new ideas that's what i do know about him and that's you i feel like you've got something that is going to really and i'm being told i've told you this in another reading um you've got something that's really going to be turned into something big um it's like you're, i'm being told you're taking two sides of something and making it a whole to create something Something. so you could be taking let's say um the healing side of spirituality and reiki and astrology but then taking the more 3d approach of therapy and counseling and mixing it together to create something you know different or maybe you guys um are taking like astrology and then you know mixing it with some sort of business idea or maybe you guys are taking your art and then bringing it into you know music i don't know there's just something where you're taking two sides of a coin and placing them together is what i'm being told um in this lifetime there's a lot there's two things that you're you're incorporating together you're going to create something new you're going to be they're comparing you to the likes of people that started with nothing created something and it was it, it really helped the world like the guy who, who invented amazon or i don't know the first guy who created the telephone or the first person that um you know started um astrology years and years and years and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago or um the first person that invented cars like they're comparing you to that is what i'm being told um and I'm hearing you're very perfectionistic like that. Your mind's racing. You have a lot of Gemini or third house placements as well. Um, your mind's always kind of like racing like that. Um, I do want to say as well, I feel like in the past you guys have had a hard time feeling happy. Like you've had a hard time feeling um, content or like you fit in or like... Um, 
you've you know the world right now is very dense and i just feel like you've had a hard time integrating your happiness out there because everything was so mundane but what's leading you to your journey to happiness is these creative ideas and finally following them i feel like when you have to um put yourself in a box it's when you start to feel miserable and you may end up getting quite depressed um you are here to get these crazy ideas out and be your unique creative self and be abundant with that and not care what people think um maybe some of you guys wanted people to kind of join your bandwagon but um spirit saying that you're learning in this lifetime to trust in your own ability to create something new and keep shining that out um because that's where you're going to find your happiness and it's going to be beneficial not just for you but for i'm literally being told humanity so there's something big you're doing pile number three something very big um it's like you're a scientist but like it could be science that you're getting into because i did i was shown life past seven and you know that kind of correlates to science as well but um it could just be the spiritual side of it, it could be spirit um spirit science it could be something like that but um there's something really different and unique and and your mind's very the way i'm being shown you guys are very cool <laughs> and your souls are very cool but your soul is very like i know i'm good at what i do and i know i'm this inventor and your soul very much believes in what it's doing but i feel like in this lifetime you may have had to battle with your ego and logic um because maybe people around you wanted you to you know be a certain way and and you're not like that and you've had to deal with that and that may have been something that you were working on in this lifetime um but your soul i want you to know that when you are following these gifts and putting them out there that's why you feel happy because your soul does that naturally so when you're doing that you're falling into alignment you know what i mean um pile number three who is pile number three at a soul level who is pile number three at a soul level? They keep showing me like cars and trains and aeroplanes. I don't know whether you're thinking of an idea in regards to that and like transport. Um, or maybe that was in one of your other lives on like, you know, Pleiades or Lyra or somewhere like that. But there's just something about that, about transport, like physical transport um, is what I'm being told. Um, we have the two of cups here. Um, let me pull one more to clarify that. Um, pile number three, who are they on a soul level? Who is pile number three on a soul level? Who is pile number three? One more card spirit. Pile number three. Okay. Yeah, we have the chariot. Okay. I do want to say as well, you've had a hard time with relationships and friendships because it's like this energy of people not being able to understand you you're so intricate you're so there's so much to you and i feel like even when people are around you and you've had friendships or maybe relationships it's like this energy of they didn't know the real you there's this energy that you always felt like you had to um dim your light to appeal to somebody else so you had to keep your mouth shut and not talk about something so um out there to appeal to somebody else and what i'm being told pile number three is the way that you are going to draw in relationships in this lifetime the way that you're going to draw in friendships that are really fundamentally for you is by not um masking yourself in any idea if somebody doesn't understand what you're talking about when you're talking about astrology or something like that please don't try and dim any of that or don't try and dim your intelligence or anything like that if you are um spirit is really calling you to continuously be this organic star they're not saying bright star they're saying organic um keep being this organic star that you are because um you will draw all the other stars to you by doing that but if you keep dimming yourself to fit in or sound relatable to somebody else you're going to stay in those shallow waters and spirit saying you're a shark not a little fish <laughs> stay in the deep end and you'll find all the other sharks like you you know what i mean that's what i'm being told um for you guys um that's why you've had trouble I, i'm hearing with friendships and relationships in the past because you've maybe tried to be what they wanted to be because i feel like a lot of your life maybe you spent time trying to be what other people would have wanted you to do and i feel like you're learning and not to do that and if you guys were always just being yourself um just keep being yourself is what i'm being told um because you are going to draw in the right people and there's some sort of project you're going to work on which you are going to draw a lot of like-minded individuals to you um so we have strength um we have strength here and then um, oh goodness that's way too many cards one more card um spirit one more card who are pile three on a soul level 
we have the three of swords yeah the thing is and this is what i was picking up here right with the strength and the three of swords it's like maybe you say now i'm gonna give an example this doesn't have to completely resonate because this is just an example that i'm being shown see now some of you some of you want to be a artist right and you're painting or whatever and your art is very different to the normal sketches that people do maybe you want to i'm hearing clay maybe you want to make clay sculptures or something like that and people around you you know you really want people to look at your work and really admire it and see it for the beauty that you see it as and you show it to people around you and all you want is them to like it but they don't get it and that hurts your ego that hurts your pride because then you're like oh it's not that good then and you start to take these hits to your ego thinking that your ideas aren't that good but the thing is is that those ideas were very good but the people that you were asking around you just didn't understand it from your level but you were letting their idea of what you were doing um tarnish your own ability and your own happiness and you were um you know you were letting them get to you you were giving them your power so you stopped making those clay arts and started doing something different because you allowed them to um hurt your ego like that and what i'm being told is a part of your lesson in life is to i'm hearing you guys may have sat in the fifth house your idea your thing in this lifetime is to really believe in what it is that you're doing because you are going to be doing these out there projects you guys big projects that everybody may even look at and go mm, i don't think so but it's going to turn into such a success do you honestly think that the guy who created amazon everyone was like this is a good idea definitely not you know the guy who created apple people were like oh no no i don't think that's a good idea but can you imagine they didn't do it can you what well, i don't even know what i'd be using as a phone now that is your energy you're going to create something very big and you're being geared up and you're being there's this energy of saturn teaching you that's why i feel like saturn may be in the fifth or the eleventh house for you um you're being um taught resilience in the area of believing in yourself that's what you're learning in this lifetime because you haven't dealt with a lot of restrictions in regards to this area before because a lot of your other lifetimes um i'm being told i'm being told you're an old soul but you haven't had a lot of lifetimes on earth but i'm being told a lot of your other lifetimes um you didn't have restrictions in that area you created something new everyone praised you for it and it was you know all cool and you decided for your own soul's growth to kind of go through these restrictions maybe it's money restrictions maybe it's just people putting you down but you learned you wanted to go through that to really have that be a testimony to your own strength in what you can do and that's what you're learning to kind of um create that um very interesting pile three i i like to know what you guys are doing that's you know this intricate because you, you feel like you're going to do big things it's correlating to one of my other readings i did i can't remember the name but i um in that reading they were it was very much an energy like this so i'm feeling you've come from that reading and they were comparing um you know the the collective of that pile to like people like jk rowling that um you know made harry potter books and she started from nothing she had to sit in a coffee shop and and write and write and write and she didn't know if it was going to be a success and no one really cared for it had she listened to them we wouldn't have had harry potter but she listened to her own gut and harry potter blew up and made her a billionaire and they were comparing her and the likes of her like charles dickens william shakespeare people like that to um you know what they were going to do and they're bringing up that exact same comparison in this reading so if i've ever told you that before in a reading they're saying it again you're going to really do something again if it's writing books you could be the next jk rowling if you know you could be the next william shakespeare you could be the next great person in your field but it's a field that you created for yourself anyway um pile number three who are they on a soul level um we have the wheel of fortune and one more card for it who are pile number three on a soul level we have the knight of wands so what i'm really being told with the knight of wands and the wheel of fortune is reach for the stars the back of the deck is the four of cups and i'm being told the normal way of life that you know some people like to live and it's fine if they like to live that way but the normal way of life it kind of bores you um you don't really care for that like you want to be always creating and and living in this is in this um abyss that you've created and that abyss can be real you've just got to go out there and make it concrete and with the wheel of fortune and the knight of wands spirit are telling me that you have the ability to make your dreams come true and they're saying right now you're in the knight of wands stage where you're envisioning it and you're um really um you know 
you're in that idea stage is what I'm being told you're chucking ideas at a dartboard and I'm being told with the wheel of fortune you believe in yourself you can really turn that wheel and get what it is that um I'm hearing that you can turn that wheel of fortune and create what is in your mind into concrete so whatever it is even if it sounds completely impossible you're here to really break the bar on um what impossible actually is is what i'm being told and that's your little like pep talk that they're saying because you do have a soul tribe coming in i do want to say um but there's this energy of really perfecting or crafting some sort of project. You're going to meet different soul tribe members throughout your life and being told as you, you know, move throughout your life. So I'm going to pull some oracle cards now. I don't know why sometimes when I'm tapping into your energy pile number three, you do feel like I'm feeling quite faint. So I don't know whether you guys aren't grounding yourself. I feel like that would help you a lot to ground yourself in the physical body because when I'm tapping into your energy, I feel like a cloud. Um, so maybe invest in some red jasper or carnelian if you do feel like that. If you don't, you know, don't have to listen to me. I'm just giving you guys a little suggestion if you do feel like that um, because I feel very drifty as I tap in. Um, so maybe some, you know, red jasper jasper carnelian snowflake obsidian um dalmatian jasper i'm being told um i'm also being told some of you guys um for some of you guys to go cop some lapis lazuli um i just got told that um or maybe you already work with it um but yeah i'm being told lapis lazuli i'm sure you worked with the crystal lapis lazuli in other lifetimes um but you should actually crush lapis lazuli um in the egyptian times for like eye makeup so maybe that's what they're taking me to maybe you had a lifetime there but um that's showing me that so pile oh that card just jumped out so we have water element sensing one thing that i will say about you guys is you're very empathetic you have a you know you have a strong intuition you can pick up on people's emotions but there's this energy where you like sometimes you have it hard connecting to those emotions do you understand what i mean there's just this energy here of i feel like some of you guys may put on a mask and not in like a negative way you put on a mask like you know that people might not perceive the way that you speak or the way that you do things properly so you try to act like them so when you know when you have to express emotions it's a lot harder because there's almost this shield in front of you and that's completely fine but i'm being told that some of you guys sometimes feel like you can't connect with people because you're not able to bear your soul and bear your emotions um because it just feels like there's you and then there's a gap and then there's everybody else it feels like that so you can't express your emotions or i'm hearing you're very misunderstood um maybe you hold all of your emotions in or maybe you just you, you're not too ruled by your emotions and that's why um people may see you maybe as cold as people may see you as quite quiet and it's like this is energy of you're very misunderstood um and i want you to know that the more you intricate yourself and the more you be you know step into your own shoes and just keep shining that light the right people will really see you for you i do want to say that because i'm hearing you are quite sensitive um but you have a hard shell maybe you have a lot of scorpio um in your chat there's an energy of being extremely sensitive but people don't really see that side of you so you're kind of misunderstood sometimes um we have north node life purpose you have a very strong life purpose purpose in this lifetime i'm being told and four and one adds up to five and five is ruled by mercury so you guys are very much um it's just you're always in your mind thinking you know it's whatever it is that goes on in your mind it's part of your life purpose you're here to dream um you know new things into fruition and whatnot so let's pull another card Pile number three, who are pile number three on a soul level you guys yeah you guys have definitely had um you guys have definitely had lifetimes in Egypt and I'm hearing strong Acturias um, really taking me to Acturian star seats, guys, um, for you guys in regards to your soul. Um, but you haven't had many lifetimes on Earth. Like, you're such an old soul. It's like you drop in here and there to help at a certain point. Um, that's what I'm being told. And I feel like maybe in your past life, you were somebody that created something um for the first time again like you know like the guy who discovered gravity or like something to do with science i feel like you created in another life if you are drawn to science there's something that some of you guys created in regards to science in a past life that was like fields groundbreaking um and you're here to do something like that again in a different field um every time you come down to earth you create something new but it's always in a different field 
um, I'm being told. Right now, it's more focused on your creativity, um, is what I'm being told. So we have childlike expression. Um, you're very connected to your inner child. Um, your inner child never dimmed. You know what I mean? What our inner child really is, is our connection to source energy. And that never dimmed. You've always stayed connected to that. Like I said, when I tapped into your energy, first and foremost, I saw your crown chakra with this beautiful white light coming out of your crown chakra and you constantly downloading energies and getting energies from your crown so that's why you're very much connected to that childlike expression because you um you're always downloading energies and you're always thinking through spirit instead of thinking like logical based like a lot of people um may do in this lifetime um, you then have personal transformation at the back of the deck and the planets are really taking me to astrology here. So maybe you guys have a love for astrology. I'm actually hearing a key to what your you might be doing in this lifetime is through astrology so i don't know whether you guys are dissecting your chart or you've already seen this but there's a key in regards to what you're doing in this lifetime in your astrology chart um for example when i started getting into astrology um this was like when i was quite young like I would say like 15, 16 when I was really looking at my chart and one thing that I saw about my chart was there were so many planets indicating that I was going to be like entrepreneur and I was going to work for myself and I never ever thought that I could do that but that always pushed me to do that because I saw it in my in my chart. I could see that that was something that I was supposed to do and, and lead in some way um, and all my psychic placements were there as well so that was like I'm, I'm not crazy. I actually, you know, I actually am psychic so that's telling me that there's a key to something that you're about to do in your astrology um chat like even when i was saying i was picking up like saturn in the fifth or saturn in the eleventh like you may have those placements um but they're showing me that so let's pull some more pile number three who are they on a soul level okay i just had two cards that drop out but i'm actually being told to um use them so the two cards that dropped out was the buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide and we also have the whale spirit trust the great mystery so some of you guys may suffer with that logic base that i feel like maybe people in your family or hometown have said you know you can't do that that's crazy and then you start to think wait i have all of these ideas but how am i going to bring this into reality but look at that trust in the great mystery when we manifest if we worry about how it's going to come to pass, we can block that. So we want to do our part and manifest, but then we want to detach in the sense of the universe will bring it in um, and the universe will, you know, tend to the more um, ascended side of it, the more magical side of it, let's say. And I'm hearing for you guys to really put something out there but not worry about how it's going to come to pass because we have the abundant, the abundant, the abundant universe will provide. So it's like you guys um, worry that what you want to do cannot be done because again, it, it hasn't happened yet. So do, am I going to have the right resources? Am I going to have the right this and that? But what I'm being told is there is nothing that is impossible in this lifetime. I don't know whether you watched my Instagram IGTV video the other day, but I said the word possible is in impossible i'm possible so you can do that we are literally living in a world where we can create our own realities it may seem a little bit more concrete than what it's like in the in the higher realms but we can still do it and that's what i'm being told no matter what you want to create the abundant universe will provide because what we want is already out there because all that we want is already a frequency of energy anyway and energy is all around us and energy sits around waiting for a direction so you tell the energy around you to give um to go in a certain direction and that will happen for you you've just got to radiate it and believe it and being told we also have 10 to the small things at the back of the deck so what I'm being told here is um, you don't have to have everything all figured out at once. Um, I'm hearing bit by bit, bit by bit, you know, what can you do right now? Um, for example, say now you want to do something small like pass your driver's test. It may seem impossible because you have to do this, this, this and that. But okay, how do I do that? Okay, well, I'm going to learn my theory side of it and then I'm going to pass my theory and then I'm going to learn the driving side of it and then I'm going to pass my driving test and then I'm going to save for a car. Like bit by bit you know what i mean that's what i'm being told for you guys so pile number three pile number three who are they on a soul level oh wow <laughs> oh wow look at that birth in a new age birth in new creations <laughs> dreaming a new world into being do i need to say anymore that's basically telling us what I was saying 
um, throughout this entire reading, you are here, if this card is not confirmation enough, to birth a new age, birth in new creations and dream in a new world into being. You're here to help the world in some sort of way birth something and look at the stars again again they're taking me to astrology here there's something there's a key to something in your astrology chart um and i have the back of the deck here break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewrite in the future um so maybe you guys are from a family that doesn't have a lot of money and you're breaking the chain to become abundant in this lifetime or maybe um you know a lot of your ancestral line decided that they weren't going to chase their dreams for the more logical approach you're breaking that you're breaking ancestral karma um so let's pull one more card i can't believe that card came out that's so funny um pile number three who are they on a soul level who is pile number three on a soul level you're heavily ruled by uranus i'm being told strong aquarius energy um yeah we have the infinite here um you're very in tune with the cosmos very in tune with astrology i feel like um certain um transits that happen really affect you like you you know like when mercury retrograde happens it affects you you know what i mean i'm actually hearing you some of you guys um have mercury retrograde in your birth chart in your natal chart i'm being told um but you always can feel that you can always feel like you know whatever season we're in you know like right now we're in pisces season you feel pisces season you really feel that or oh, we're in aquarius season you feel aquarius season like you just you feel that um in the back of the deck we have the portal keeper um i don't know whether they're, they're telling me with a cat because they're taking me to Coraline, and i don't know whether you've watched Coraline, but when Coraline goes through the two different worlds um this particular cat follows her around and it can go through the two worlds with her um so i don't know whether you have a um an animal it doesn't have to be a cat but i'm being shown more so a cat um but there's an animal that you may be close with or you may get that is kind of like a, your companion and i'm here when it's part of your soul tribe kind of a company accompanying you in this lifetime um and i'm hearing there's a cat that really protects you um and looks after you and if it's not a cat i'm hearing i don't know why i'm just hearing like you may be walking down the street and then a cat follows you i don't know why i'm being taken to that like i don't know whether somebody like looks after like strays or took in a stray as their own and, and looked after them but there's just this energy of animals especially but more so cats they're taking me more so to cats and snakes i don't know why i'm being shown a snake let me know if that resonates but i'm being shown a snake um coming through here like somebody may have a pet snake but whatever the case it's like your um you have animals like your little furry friends or scaly friends they look after you they help you they um they really help you they're like your little companions is what i'm being told um yeah so that is all i have for you guys um i really hope that you enjoyed this reading and i hope you learned something new i'm sending you guys lots of love comment down below if it resonated and hit the thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey panel before welcome to your reading so if you guys chose the aquamarine crystal then this is your reading so we're going to be taking a look at who you are on a soul level um so with the three other piles this was kind of a um a kind of mixed bag i was for some of you guys being taken to like star seeds and that side of it some of you some of them i was being taken to like past lives and you know it was it was kind of like a mixed bag so just keep your mind open and we'll see what comes through um i'm really enjoying doing these readings by the way so let me know if you really enjoy these because this theme of pick a card just like makes me feel more at home even though it's like not anything that i've done before it just resonates so well with me so i hope it you know you guys feel the same way about them as i do um so pile number four pile number four pile number four spirit guides please tap me into the collective of pile number four and show me who they are on a soul level i'm being shown lately guys some of you guys are seeing like um white um flashes of light um flashes of light around your room or like wherever you are and i'm being told that is you guys um tapping into like higher dimensions and higher vibrations um some of you guys are currently coming out of a spiritual awakening i'm being told um and when i say spiritual awakening i mean like an ascension we go through many ascension 
lessons in our enlightenment journey and I feel like you guys have just been getting over one and coming out of one and you're reaching that kind of springtime when you're feeling a lot more elevated like you've been rejuvenated on a soul level um so with that I'm being told that you've come out of a time recently where you've been doing a lot of purging and releasing the old um and your spirit guides are just coming through really quickly to just congratulate you on that you're you're stepping into um new waters more calmer waters I'm being told um so I'm hearing that a lot of your psychic gifts are going to start to come through now karmic memories past life memories and starseed memories as well and being told that you guys are going to start um seeing so some of you guys may be having an affiliation already to different cultures or different um timelines in the past on earth because your soul was there and you're waking up to that um remembrance and being taken to bali and being taken to egypt and being taken to the himalayas and being taken to hawaii and being taken to ireland as well and being told so let me know how that resonates i'm also being taken to um new orleans and being taken there as well let me know how that resonates um so pile number four pile number four pile number four some of you guys have had past lives um, as Native American as well um, and being shown a Native American lady um, like using beads and creating um, that jewellery and sac um, they're telling me a sacred jewellery um, and being shown somebody do that. So let me know who that was for because um, that may resonate with some of you. I just got shown that. Um, pile number four. Pile number four. Who were they on a soul level? Who were pile number four? Um on a soul level yeah there's a strong native american presence here and there's this energy of something about a lake something about a lake or you just love water you just love lakes there's something about like a sacred like lake i'm being taken to i don't know why um and i have to say this but you know like mount rushmore that was like a sacred um you know rock for native americans before um you know those people decided that they wanted to carve you know faces into them but that was a sacred place for um you know native americans and i'm i'm really being taken there um and that really strongly resonated with someone so let me know how that resonates but they just showed me that and it came up about three times i was like i have to say it so that came through um pile number four who are they on a soul level um, I want you to know that you guys were like preachers, teachers, masters in um, a lot of your past lives and being shown like th there's this such a tribal energy here but it was like you were chief or you were the leader or you were the one that brought the wisdom a lot of times and like you know you know the Aztecs and, and whatnot they they take certain herbs or burn certain sage or take certain psychedelics and it, it wasn't everybody who would take them like ayahuasca and whatnot it was the leader and the leader or the chief or the one that had the most wisdom or more connect most connection with spirit they would take it and then you know they pass on information through that particular um plant or you know herb and then they would um give it to the tribe and i'm actually being shown you watching this you guys doing that you guys being the ones to pass on the messages so i don't know this may resonate for some it may not for others so don't worry this is a general reading if you guys have set you know experimented with um philocybin or ayahuasca or something like that um i'm being told that um you were called to do it because you did it in a past life because that's how you brought wisdom um and being told um you very much there's an energy as well taking me to like astrology or even just like um um how can i even take this it's like they're taking me to like agriculture or like just traveling in general and you being the leader of a group of people and leading them somewhere or like following the stars like they're literally showing me the three shepherds following the star like um not the three shepherds the three kings i think it was oh my god how do i not know this like i should know this it was the three kings wasn't it the three kings it wasn't the shep no it wasn't it was the shepherds Guys, I can't believe I've forgotten whether it was the Shepherds or the Kings, but let me know. But they're showing me them, like, following the stars. It's like, you, there's something about the stars and looking up to the sky and being like, okay, we need to go north or we need to go this way or we need to... Because, you know, back in the day, they didn't have an iPhone and be like, right, let me get my, you know, the GPS out. It was like, you were literally... I'm being shown somebody on a ship as well, like, okay, we're going this way, we're going that way, like, following that. I don't know why. Um, but there's just that energy coming through. You were the leader and you, you led through your intuition and your connection to spirit um it wasn't like a leader of like power you know what i mean it wasn't like a leader out of 
um you know you had a compass or whatever it's like you were listening to your intuition that's it feels very tribal um is what i'm being told um you were a messenger for spirit in your other lives you're a very old soul and you were a messenger and i'm being taken to egyptian times as well you connected with spirit and then passed on information you um would channel messages from spirit a lot um a lot of your lives you choose to be open to spirit because it's just more comfortable for you and you are a very good channel for spirit you have such a pure heart and such a pure light you want the best for the world so you want the best for the people around you and that's why spirit uses you as a voice because spirit doesn't choose the universe doesn't choose everybody to be a messenger and there's a reason for that and the reason that they choose you is one because you do it so well and you've done it in many lifetimes but because you have a very much built a, a built ability within you to listen to your intuition and follow your heart and follow your soul and um you use it for light and you use it for a purpose you know what i mean um and that's why you you done that in many lives i'm being told um you definitely have psychic gifts i have to just put that out there you're also here to speak um because they show me the aquamarine and the aquamarine helps the thought chakra and they're telling me you chose that because um you have a very strong voice in the sense that you don't even realize it i'm actually being told you don't realize it maybe you're starting to but for a lot of your life you didn't realize it you actually command people when you talk you speak people shut up and listen because they respect what you have to say um you have this when you are in your power and you believe in yourself um you have the ability to really lead with your words um is what i'm being told not in like um you do this you do that you go get me my cappuccino not like that but like um you know um i see you I, I feel like it's in past lives you were giving speeches you were giving speeches to a group of people and gearing people up and enlightening people and it's like motivational speaker in a way but it's also like spirits speak through you you know like i'm doing now a lot of the time i don't even look at the cards but i just talk and then I'll talk for like, you know, my readings, sometimes they last for about 40 minutes and I'm just speaking and I don't shut up and I'm continuously going and it's because spirit are fueling that through me and I'm hearing that you have the same ability where you just speak and spirit help guide you through it, through your own um, psychic abilities, whether you're speaking on the clairvoyant abilities that you're seeing, the clairaudient abilities, the clairsentient abilities, whether that information is just being downloaded or whether, you know, spirit are just helping you talk it's like you have the ability to lead people that way um when you talk you don't just talk to their egos you talk to their souls and that's why they listen even and i want you to understand this if you speak and somebody says oh shut up like you're talking nonsense i want you to know that that is their ego um pushing a rejection and the reason that you, that ego is doing that is because you're stirring something in their soul because this is what they just said to me when you speak the ego might choose to ignore but their soul listens. So you are continuously planting seeds all the time. Um, and Spirit's saying, if people aren't following, you know, your path or if people aren't listening, don't worry because that seed is being planted and it will bloom at one point. You know what I mean? And I'm hearing that, you know, people's egos, they may not listen. They may be looking the other way. Their soul is listening. You speak to people's souls. Um, that came through really strongly for you guys, pile number four. Um, very full of wisdom. You feel like an old druid. I feel like you've had um, lives as a Buddhist monk, I'm being told. Um, I'm really being shown that like you just really connecting with source and being able to um you know put out that information and I'm being told you're learning in this lifetime to find peace of mind um is what I'm being told it's like your soul naturally like your soul's personality you on a soul level is such um a peaceful being and that's what they keep showing me to explain your soul as a buddhist monk sitting there in complete tranquility that's your soul at its at its, at its core and um i'm just hearing that um you're here to really bring that into the world and find that within yourself in this lifetime because you i'm hearing you've had a lot of chaos um in this lifetime a lot of um shifts i'm being told and i just got shown like a black stroke so i feel like you've been purging because I, I said at the beginning of this reading you've come out of a phase where you were purging um maybe you were born into a family that had a lot going on um that you had to release if i've told you that before then um you know what i'm talking about but you've been purging a lot of your ancestral um lines pain and hurt and anger and um maybe you acted in the way 
ways that they did at one point maybe you lived low vibrationally but you integrated that and you purged it so that you could really come back to source and i feel like i just saw like a black smoke fading and i told you that you're going to be stepping into karma waters after this awakening soon and that's what i'm being shown um they showed me this black fog fading like there's a there's a fog kind of they showed me the eminem song not afraid when he sings this black cloud is following me around but it's time to exercise i'm doing jumping jacks now you know that lyric from not afraid um that's what i'm being told like there's this fog that has maybe been over your early childhood or, or your life because you were releasing the depression of your ancestors releasing the anxiety and the pain from your ancestors but you're now moving into this peace of mind where you're able to be a free spirit because your soul wants to just be your soul does not want to um have so much chaos around it there's such a simplistic nature to your soul um at its core level i'm hearing strong andromedan um star seeds with lemuria and i'm also being shown lyra and pleiades they're giving me a mixed bag but um you want to be as naturistic and as simplistic as possible you may have been drawn to pile number one as well i'm being told um pile number four who are they on a soul level um, you're such a, you're a druid, like you're a druid, you're here to enlighten and, and just, there's something about plants and you getting information from plants. I don't know whether you've ever gone on an ayahuasca retreat or you're being called there, but I'm being shown something like that. There's something about plants as well, not just that, but herbs, you know what I mean? Um, herbs and burning sage, maybe you get a lot of information from um, when you, you know, when you sage and you sage your room, maybe you get a lot of information, um, like psychic downloads when you do that. I'm also here when a lot of you guys are going to start having very strong karmic memories, um, coming up. And when I say karmic, karmic memories, I mean, um, memories from your past lives. If you haven't already, you're going to start to do that, um, very soon. They're going to start popping through because this last ascension that you were on, if you've just come out of one or if you're still going through it, when you reach this karma water like i said more psychic abilities are going to come through but you've really been without realizing it getting rid of all of the um the fog that was um you know surrounding your being so that you could really step out into alignment as your soul more of your higher self is coming through and i'm hearing that um you're going to start really having memories of your past lives and i'm the reason i'm being taken to lemuria is because i'm being taken to the island of Kauai, which they say is um a part of lemuria that's still there and i'm being shown somebody there and having karmic memories there so um take that as it resonates um you have to really heal a broken heart in this lifetime as well but i'm hearing that this three of swords has come to completion whatever this pain was that you were going through we have the world here the world talks about completion all of this pain it's coming out now you really took it on yourself to do the shadow work to do this releasing to finally um step into you know that wisdom and your leadership role and you're doing that now so i want you to know those dark days are over your pot of gold is coming they're telling me with the nine of cups at the back of the deck your pot of gold is coming you're moving into a very fruitful time and i'm hearing with the ace of wands and the nine of wands you're starting to realize who your soul is and the more you're doing that the more you're realizing and being more confident in who you are and you're able to manifest whereas before you didn't believe in yourself because you had people trying to put you down because you're such a bright light but with the ace of wands um a lot of your manifestations that i'm being told you've been trying to manifest but you haven't been in the right energy or there was a lot of doubts remember i said i saw that black smog kind of like um fading away that three of swords energy those blockages they're fading away because you chose to release them and i'm hearing it hasn't been easy for you so that's giving you a round of applause here okay that you've really really worked hard to release this and i want you to know this sun is coming out and when the sun comes out that lever that was that doubt in your mind that was holding your manifestations at bay that's gone because you've released it and they're coming into fruition that's what i'm being told you're moving into a very abundant time um as you move forward so let's pull some oracle cards um i want you to know your soul is truly very abundant your soul loves to it's not even that your soul loves to your soul naturally does live in harmony with nature and your soul is very abundant and you've had a lot of lifetimes as well that were very abundant for you um where you everything that you needed you were able to manifest it at the click of your fingers and um i'm being told that it's kind of hard in this lifetime because you want to manifest but you've had all of these restrictions but you were here to 
break those chains and bring order out of chaos so that you could do it you were a seed that was planted in the dark in the soil and now you're reaching full bloom i'm being told and they're playing me scissor good days um they're playing me that song so keep if you're still in that smoky energy right now spirits calling you to um keep imagining um the brighter days the good days they're playing me two songs they're playing me good days by scissor and you know she sings good days they've been um in my mind keep thinking of them and i'm also being told um no tears left to cry by ariana grande of course she was going to come up in one of the piles um but keep thinking in that vibrant energy because that's where you're headed to um but also as well as keeping in mind that you want to be um imagining that um don't try and um don't set your emotions aside um to fake happiness if you need to grieve over a lost connection or a pain um do that you know what i mean but just know and keep that faith that that light is coming if you were still in that energy of gray because you're releasing very heavy ba baggages i do want you to know that but promise you it's coming to completion you're on the last leg of it i'm being told um so the next card that we have is think on your feet the fox spirit so one thing that i'm being told um something that may have held you back in the past is that you guys tend to overthink you're such um sensitive beings i'm being told that you have had a lifetime or you've had a lot of your childhood in this lifetime where um there was a lot of worries there was so much that i feel went on in your earlier life that your mind's on fight or flight your mind is on um you want to plan and restrict everything so that you know what's going to happen because there was so much chaos that may have happened in your childhood or maybe you just have a lot of flighty energy and a lot of anxiety but i'm being told that you are now moving into a time where you are living more in the moment and you do because you can because you believe spirit will catch you whereas before you may have held off on um taking that leap because you were worried of falling on your face or spirit not being there to catch you are you thinking that you made it all up and you're moving into a time where you're you know with this wheel of fortune moving into a more free spirited time because that's you more in alignment with your soul that's who your soul really is you know like primal energy like tribal energy they you know they thought on their feet they just did in that moment it's that type of energy you're moving into um and the back of the deck we have life is speeding up so i promise you if you've been in an energetic slump right now i promise you that you are moving in um to a new way of being and life is going to start speeding up if you've been feeling restricted um that was just always going to happen in this lifetime you have to integrate a lot and i'm hearing a lot of you guys are quite young like a lot of you guys are like under 30 like you're very young um and you're doing this at a young age and again they're applauding that like the amount that you've integrated in such a short time here in this incarnation like they're showing that it's just a testimony to your strength because your soul is so strong and what your soul is so strong at is peace of mind is peace and um again reaching that tranquility and knowing that everything will be okay your soul always had that there you know what i mean even if you didn't act upon it sometimes that your soul knew that everything was going to be okay you have such a wise 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 old shaman soul it feels like um pile number four who are they on a soul level who are pile number four on a soul level who are pile number four in a soul level i'm actually hearing some of you guys were the first bunch of star seeds that came to earth um when lemuria was happening and i'm also hearing that um you guys in the pleiades were some of the first souls that incarnated in the pleiades and helped kick start that um star seed race and you've been doing the same with um the world and gaia and the human race as well you've been doing that too um so I just got told and i've never heard this before so let me know if anyone else has ever heard this i asked spirit because obviously we're like humans you know humans and i was like okay so are we called like human star seeds if there was like another race and they said like gaia star seeds i don't know why they were called gaia star seeds but spirit just like referred to that as like gaia star, star seeds gaia i've never heard that in my life but I, I don't know why they were referred to as that but that's how they just said that um pile number four you know when i'm reading for you guys as well like i'm so warm because i tap into so much energy my body just feels warm um because i'm picking up on so much energy it's like when i come to the end of the readings i'm like an overheated other one i'm like oh i need to cool down um so we have harmony here yeah your soul naturally lives in harmony like um in alignment i'm being told um very much in alignment with the world around it 
and I'm being told that um, you're moving into a time where you're doing that now. You're, you've been plagued in the past by your anxiety and your worries, but they are falling away as you begin to integrate your higher self into being. Um, and there's an energy that even right now, like with, you know, the chaos that's happening in the world and the pandemic and whatnot, like your soul, and even though, even, even if you have worries, um, and being told that your soul, um, there's an energy of all will be okay. Like you just have this peaceful resonance deep within your soul and being told, um, and I'm being shown somebody doing work on the third eye chakra and opening up the third eye chakra so we have the moon card that just dropped out soul um so i'm hearing you guys actually do moon manifestations and work with the moon i'm actually hearing if you don't spell work on um um i'm more so being taken to a new moon but i'm hearing that releasing on a full moon like you working with the moon will really help you if you're not doing that because i'm actually being told some of you don't do that and i'm being told that that will really help you guys working with the moon um in this lifetime we have the moon there as well you're very affected by the moon i'm being told and i'm seeing somebody scripting on a on a new moon as well and i'm hearing that working with those cycles really helps you and i'm actually being told to show you this book um i don't know whether you guys have it you know the moonology oracle cards that i use um well the same um author made this book it's called the moonology book and um it talks about the moon phases and so many different information in here so if you guys don't have that book i would call you guys to get it there's a lot of information it's by yasmin boland i just got told to show some of you guys that book um or if you guys are looking into like working with the moon phases and you don't really care to read i have a video on the moon phases in my spirituality playlist um so you can go and watch that but um i talk there like when to manifest and what each of the moon phases mean if you want to like research on that but there's something about the moon and you working with it so let me know if that helps um i'm also doing a video soon about what it means when you're born on whatever phase of the moon so i'm going to be doing that soon um over the next couple of weeks so let me know if you want that um because i will be doing it the back of the deck we have aquarius i know so a lot of you guys are quite cognizant as well like you guys um you just have information downloaded into your mind you know what i mean and sometimes you can be feeling crazy like you can be feeling like oh my god i'm i've got to do this and i've got to do that my mind's rapidly like i feel like i'm going crazy and then like spirit will just download like information to you and it's like you weren't told anything but your soul just feels at peace or you maybe you're crying and you you know there's a lot of grief and then all of a sudden like your soul energetically realizes something unhooks it and then all of a sudden you feel a sense of peace and it's like that 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 grief isn't there anymore it's like you you're downloading even when you're not being told it or physically um understanding it your soul is understanding it and integrating it too um your higher self is very much like a part of you like obviously all of our higher selves are a part of us but as we ascend more and more we become more of our higher self and i feel like you're very much like I, I sense a lot of your higher self within you um is what i'm trying to say i hope that makes sense to someone um pile number four pile number four pile number four pile number four who are they on a soul level <laughs> yeah we have lemuria i i felt that i felt that um i felt like some of you guys were um some of the first star seeds that came here to help lemuria and then it literally pops out creating heaven on earth it's happening you still remember the way that you lived when you were on, in lemuria you know and it's very much like i don't know whether you've ever watched avatar the way they're so connected with nature and um you know the tree of life and all of that like they're so connected with it um and they feel so much a part of it and they they work with it and it, everything's sacred to them and it's like that is very much Lemuri the lemurian way and you still remember that and you integrate that way you can while you're on earth a lot of you guys are either vegetarian or um vegan or you will be going that way um and being told um and then we have protection call back your pyre cut the cords soul retrieval yeah we have this because that's what you've been doing you've been calling back your power because you're such a light you saw the light in everybody else i feel like you were very sweet to people that very much did not really in the physical world deserve your kindness but you gave them the benefit of the doubt and they took advantage and i want you to know that you've always been spiritually protected but i'm being told that a lot of people kind of 
what felt like took your power away from you and you're calling it back now you're in that time this last ascension has been having you call your power back you've been on a self-love or self-worth journey where you've been realizing exactly who you are so that you can manifest all of this into being um that's what you've been doing so one more card spread um pile number four who are pile number four on a soul level who are pile number four on a soul level who are pile number four on a soul level we have the soul star chakra merging with the divine and that is very much you you are always merging with the divine you're connecting you're even when you don't realize it like you're just giving advice to somebody and like to you it's just like you thought of something in your head and you gave this person the advice but little did you know like their spirit guide was sat right next to you telling your soul to tell them something and then you give that advice to them and they're like oh my god and it helps them but it was like you without even realizing it were channeling a message you just didn't realize that you were um to give to help them if that makes sense like sometimes you channel and you don't realize that you're channeling from spirit you know and you know like i said you're calling back your energy right now we have reclaim your energy you're remembering <laughs> somebody spirit guys went they're remembering who the f they are <laughs> like that's what i was just told like you're remembering who you are you're remembering um past lives you know part of your akashic records your memories your soul's memories you're remembering it all and i'm being told over the next couple of months to a year you're gonna have a lot of experiences with your starseed family coming to you in dreams or through meditation and you're gonna have a lot of karmic memories coming um to you from past lives um i'm being told there's gonna be a lot of that i don't know whether someone's going to a past life regression or whether it's just naturally gonna unfold but i see that for you guys pal and before um so that's all i have for you pal and before i really hope that you enjoyed this reading hit the thumbs up if you did and comment down below i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching